Good morning guys. As promised, I in my uh, video the other day on the shopping haul, I promised I was going to start doing some videos on the projects or DIYs that I want to do. And the last time I did an amber interior uh, dupe, it went really well as far as my channel is concerned. So I decided that I wanted to do another one. So I went out to the Amber Interiors website and I just looked up artwork and I found, and I'll show a picture of it, but I found a little old cottage, in, 8 by 10 mind you, in a frame really similar to this. It's kind of the barn wood looking, it's kind of distressed. Again, the lighting is absolutely horrible, but <laughs> that's all I have for right now. So, yeah, it's kind of that gray, distressed, kind of, I don't know, barnwood looking. This was $8.99 at Hobby Lobby. I bought this off of Etsy. It was originally $5.99, but the price went up to $8.99, which is fine. And then uh, at Goodwill, oh gosh, this spring I found a brand new pack of printer paper that was $0.99. Cents. So I just took out a sheet, and it's, it's matte. And it's on a really good quality photo paper. So I just printed it off. I'm going to trim it down to size. So this dupe is a, was around $20. So $8.99, $8.99. And then I don't know how many sheets are in here, but like $0.10 cents for this piece of paper. So around $20. Bucks. Again, for 8 by 10 uh, The Amper Interior Original for an 8 by 10 And this looks pretty pretty close to the original it was hundred and fifty dollars so I would never pay that I'm sure some people are comfortable paying that but I'm just not I'm not knocking that company at all but that's why dupes dupe videos are made is to show someone that you can do it for less less cost than the original and still get a really quality um, product for your home I've always I mean since I've been on my own as a you know 18 years old um, I've always shopped thrift stores garage sales you know hand-me-downs every once in a while I bought something new and then either jazzed it up a bit to fit in the home or not so um, there are some things that yes I could pay full price for if I wanted to but I mm, mm, the fun for me is always to see if I can find it cheaper or make it cheaper um, because that's just, I don't want to have to spend the money if I don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unwrap the frame here and then I'm going to trim that down to size. That's also a Goodwill find I had, I think last year, it was like five bucks or something. And I've used that a lot, just a little cutter, you know, paper cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and get this trimmed up and see what it looks like. Here I was digging for my receipt and I should have just turned it over. <laughs> kind of funny. I am going to go ahead and take the mat out because I won't be using that. And I just realized that that is not glass. <laughs> that's why it was $8.99. But that's okay. No big deal. Okay, just like that, we have a really high quality um, dupe to an expensive <laughs> item that, you know, we didn't have to pay full price for. Again, I wouldn't pay full price for that. So I would have tried to figure out a way to do it for cheaper anyway. So sorry for the glare from the window behind me. But yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, thought I'd share a fun little um, DIY. It took like five minutes. I mean, not counting the trip to Hobby Lobby to buy the frame. But have a great day and always be kind and do it. Make you happy.